we're back. Um, my name is Zach. Welcome to Comic Book Weekly. This is a weekly podcast that I do where we talk about superhero films, comic book stuff, everything nerdy that we all love, man. We haven't actually had an episode air in a while. It's been about a month, so it's nice to be bringing the comic book stuff back. Uh, got two great guests to talk about Avengers Endgame, something we talked about for weeks and weeks leading up to it, but we can finally talk about the movie itself because it's out. We've all seen it twice, sometimes three times. I have a buddy who's seen it six times already. I mean, it's it's crazy right now. You know, people can't get enough of it. So we're here to talk all about it. I got Troy and Art back in the show. Excelsior. Yeah, I was going to start off the show by saying this show is presented to you by the phrase, I am Iron Man. Mm. So, yeah, mm. just let that sink in a bit. So, yeah, dude, beast of a movie, <laughs> three-hour movie, so much to go over, so much to talk about. Where do we start? Do, I was going to get we, this quick. Do we have to preface everything with saying spoiler alerts? But by this nah, time, you should have no, seen dude, it already. Yeah, no, 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 no. no. Hell no. Full on spoilers, man. No, I ain't no protected shit here. Right. Um, yeah, I'll probably put anymore, like more, man. They're facts. They're exactly. Spoilers. I'll probably put like a little, uh, hey, spoiler discussion. That way people know in the title of this. But yeah, come on, dude. If you ain't seen M Game by now, bro, you ain't no MCU fan. Get out of here. You're just a casual movie goer at this point. Go, but, go um, buy Aquaman. Exactly. Go get uh, the pre-order digital release of Shazam while you're at it. <laughs> nice. Even though I did like Shazam. I like Shazam. I did, too. I did too. Yeah, but anyways, hey, uh, I've seen it twice. Art just said he's seen it twice. I don't know how many times Troy's seen it yet. Um, just once, but I will go see it again. I was thinking about it even going tonight. So Nice. Well, you know what was cool yesterday is we saw it yesterday morning, me and my buddy, because we saw it together the first time, and we went again yesterday with a couple of other people, and... Uh, it was a it was a different viewing experience. It was so much better in a sense of I was able to I just relaxed. I relaxed. We hung out. We watched the movie because the first time we saw it, I was so anxious. I was so nervous. It was just so much going on, so much to take in. But yesterday was a lot better, a lot more enjoyable. I loved it. I loved it better the second time, actually. Yeah, that's the beauty of seeing some some of these movies the second time. I know people always look at me weird, like you're gonna waste that much money. But the first time, everything's hitting you at once. You're shocked at what's going on. The second time, you have an idea of what's going on. You pretty much know. So you're able to to to, to grasp more in of mm-hmm. what's happening. Right. So, yeah, I, I definitely enjoyed it the second time. Yeah, and I caught a lot of stuff the second time around that I didn't really. I kind of, you know, missed a few things the first time just because the sheer ridiculousness of it, you know, the epic scale of it. But, um, yeah, a lot of stuff I picked up on the second time around. So I was I – was, uh, I was very pleased about that, but yeah, quick thoughts, man. I loved the movie. It was everything I wanted it to be. I thought the buildup was great. I thought it was worth the wait. Um, a lot of people ask me, what do you like better, Infinity War or Endgame? I still think Infinity War is such a great movie, but I don't really look at them as separate rival movies. Yeah, I think it's one collective story. It's a two-part film. It's a six-hour exactly. movie. Exactly. So, yeah, I, I really think they paid off Infinity War so well. I, I loved how this movie was put together because I had a lot of concerns going in of if time travel would fuck everything up or, you know, of just all, there were so many concerns, but I think they, I think they did a really good job telling the story, man. And, um, I don't have any complaints really, but, um, what about you guys? I want to know what you guys think, man. Uh, art, I'll start with you. Just tell me your thoughts while you were watching it. And when you walked out, man, what, what were you feeling? I gotta tell you, I having seen it twice. I'm not gonna lie to you. Brought a tear to my eye two times. Oh, me too. That was, uh, that was, that's that's a lot for a movie, you know. Mm-hmm. Especially since I knew what was going to happen, mm-hmm. you know. Um, it they I think it wrapped everything up really really well. There was uh, so many, oh my god, scenes, mm-hmm. you know, in it that you just after a while you're you're, you're leaving mm-hmm. like just leaving the theater. I almost felt physically exhausted, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And I, I I've always made fun of these people. That you know, we'll, we'll start clapping in the middle of a movie or something when something badass goes on. But I found myself doing that. Yeah, <laughs> I did too. You know, in the what what I clapped for the most was when they started coming through the portals when all the dust yeah. came back. That's when I was like, okay, fuck yes, dude. I that was, was that was amazing. Yeah. But I gotta tell you, when Cap picked up Molyner, oh dude, that <laughs> was to me that was the, that was the high point of the of the movie. That was yeah. it, man. Yeah, and, and Thor, as a matter of fact, what I was saying a while ago about catching stuff, the first time we saw this, it was so loud in my theater. Thor, after he catches it, Thor says, I knew it. I didn't hear that the first time. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, I heard it yesterday, and I was like, oh, okay, nice. No, I love that callback to Age of Ultron. But, um, yeah, uh, 
What about you, Troy, man? Give me your thoughts watching it. Give me your thoughts coming out of it, dude. How are you feeling? I'm very happy. I'm glad I finally achieved that superhero body I've been wanting all these years. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I, lo I loved Fat Thor, dude. I thought it was yeah. great. Uh, <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you go any further, Troy, the I got to give you Thor abides, bro. The Thor abides. Yeah, I, I got to give you props, man, because we did we did a few episodes. We talked a lot about Endgame going into it, and I gotta I gotta give you props, man. You, you called it. You said we we were talking predictions, and you said I think Iron Man's gonna die, and I think we're gonna see an old Cap. So, hey, man, I gotta give credit where credit's due. You that Bravo. Well, I, bravo. I do give credit. I give credit to Troy too. I. I you know, for having the internet, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> Reading up of all the fan theories. Yeah, <sighs> those are my yeah. own. Those Which are my own. Yeah. Yeah. Fans are not are not his. You know. Yeah. That's okay. That's all right. <laughs> no, but uh, if 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 you'd like to finish art, so I can c contribute to the story, go ahead. <laughs> well, I was giving you time to watch the movie. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll Fair give enough. you three hours, man. Go watch it and come back. No, but man, uh, I, I agree with what you guys said. Um, man, I teared up more than a couple times. Um, at first, I was like, I mean, I, I laughed my ass off at Thor. Then I, it was weird. I went on a weird. I went on a weird little roller coaster with Thor for a little bit. At mm -hmm. first, I was like, I was like, oh, that's hilarious. Then I was kind of, part of me was kind of pissed off because he's one of my favorite characters. I was like, this guy's a fucking god. But then he is carrying the weight of so much on him, and mm -hmm. uh, it, it made it kind of made sense in the end. But. Uh, I, I dude, I really enjoyed it. And when dude, like you guys already hit on the point when Captain, you know, Captain America has Mjolnir and it just oh. And then when Thor was dual wielding him, I was like, oh, dude. Fuck? yeah, come on, like I was just like, holy shit. And then the guys coming through the portals, and I was just like, oh my god. But no, but dude, how about the fucking beheading of Thanos in the first fifteen minutes? I was like, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah, we we dude, we were calling that in the theater like, uh, okay, I guess the movie's over because it fades to black for like. Uh, an absurdly long amount of time. We're like, oh, okay, I guess that's it. Let's go. You know, I, had, I, I was, I was shocked. I was totally like, what the? F I was taken aback by that. It, it was, was a nice curve. It was, it was cool. a nice curve. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I enjoyed it, man. There's nothing. I, I don't. I, I agree with what, what you guys both said. It's I treat it as one big movie too. But if I had to choose between the two parts of the one big movie, I would still prefer part one. Um, but this one is so close, dude. I mean, if I go, I'm, like I said, I might see it again tonight. And who that, that may change my mind. But uh, it's just it's set up differently. It were like Infinity War is one of those things where you could pop in the movie and rewatch it just all the time because it's all about just building up the story and everybody coming together in a big battle. But this one's a little different because it's it's real bleak at the beginning and it's a long build up to this time heist. And yeah. you know, it's it's I don't think it's something I see myself watching once a week or all the time. But I could pop in Infinity War any time and just watch it. But true, I, I agree, and because I'm, I'm I'll be the first to admit I think you've heard me say it before. I'm not a huge fan of of time movies. Right. Right. And, I do uh, like I do like what they did though in this. Yeah, yeah, I, I do too. Um, that was interesting. I didn't see that coming. You know, yeah. as far as you know, it doesn't affect the future. It just branches off into a new timeline. You know, and now with the new Spider Man trailer, we're gonna get the multiverses and alternate realities. So, hello X Men. You know, <laughs> feel free to join anytime, guys. Yeah. And some so. of the best one and some of the best one one liners. No, that's America's oh. ass. You know, I mean, <laughs> shit, dude. Come I, on. Hey. Hey, does anybody awesome. at all feel anything for a other timeline Thor? You know, when Fat Thor was there, he calls from Molyneux. Imagine being Thor, and then all of a sudden Molyneux ripped out of your hand. You're like, what? Yeah, right. <laughs> what well, the hey, fuck? Yeah, uh, it's funny because um, in, in reality, when Cap returns it at the end, it's like Thor never lost it. So. Yeah. But that brief moment of time you were talking about, yeah, I'm sure Thor was like, dude, what the, where, where the hell? Where'd it go? I you still know, think like, th th there's one part that still kind of I, – I, eh, I kind of grimace at, though. What's that? Uh, when, when Captain Marvel just rips through Thanos' ship. I mean, she's just, she's just so fucking powerful, man. Yeah, she's and very I, OP. And, very. And, I, and, I, and I know that Thanos you know, was like had her in a headlock and was, was, was taking care of business hand-to-hand. -hand, but I just I think, I don't know, man. God damn. I mean, it was already enough, a long enough movie as it was. But, but I didn't eat or drink before, so I was good to go. I was loving every minute. But that part still just kind of, eh, God well, damn, dude. She's too what, powerful. What worried me about that was when she showed up in the final battle, you know, like, hey, what's going on? Someone just Something just entered the upper atmosphere. I'm like, okay, it's Captain Marvel. I was worried that she was going to come in and be the deus ex machina and kill Thanos, and, you know, that's that's it. It's like I, I felt it would have taken away from Cap and, and Tony and Thor, the original three fighting him. But to my surprise, she came in. She was a team player. She, she helped fight him, and – 
of course, Tony finished the deal. So I was happy about that. I was just worried about her coming in to save the day. It's like I didn't want that. Um, I felt like she didn't deserve it. So I'm glad when she put up yeah. a good fight and she got her ass kicked. And I wanted to see that because she needs stakes. She needs to be humbled and she needs to earn her, her position. So she didn't really good. get her ass kicked. She got punched by the power stone. Yeah, That's but dude, true. that was a monster hit, though. Yeah. It was, but... <laughs> And I, I have to add, I, I have to ask you, Troy, this. D- have you read up any about Captain Marvel? No, no, of course I haven't. See, so I mean, to, when you're saying she's overpowered, no, she's not. Yeah, she's, but Art, you'll be, you'll, be, you'll be the first to admit the MCU is not based off canon. So I'm no, just giving, but I'm, even, I'm saying even from a scale down, even scale down, she's just she's right. Well, even mm-hmm. even Thor's a lot more powerful in the comic books than he is in, in the MCU. So and Spider-Man, every, everybody, everybody is, but, is. But but she's she's scaled down, still stronger of the two. People keep asking who would win a fight between, you know, she would between uh, her, Captain between Mar- who? Yeah, Cap- Thor and uh, Captain Mar- Marvel. Would she beat Rune Thor? Would she be Rune Rune? She, if you're, are we talking MCU or are we talking comic book? Well, there's, fully there's, pow- fully, there's no there's fully no room for an MCU yet, so I'm talking obviously comic book. Mm. Yeah, yeah, she would she she'd go toe to toe with his ass, man. Yeah, yeah. With, I think with with, with it, Rune Thor, wow. Okay. It's it's Ooh, not, it'd be a hell of not, a battle though. Yeah, it's not her. It's a position. She's not the first Marvel, and she's not going to be the last. You know, but on on that overpowering of uh, of Captain Marvel, I think we're talking about what's going to happen when they when and if they bring in the X Men. Are they yeah. going to bring in the X-Men with Rogue? Because that's where Rogue gets her powers, by sucking all the power out of Captain Marvel. That's inter- That's an interesting point, man. That's That's, interesting. that's, that's a whole other podcast there. Yeah, yeah that's right? what, yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's that's... get back to get in game. <laughs> no, okay, well, so, yeah, I, I, I love the way this movie started off. It jumps right into Hawkeye and his family, which we all knew his family was getting dusted, but the way it happened... It was very heartbreaking, and and I got to give credit to Jeremy Renner. He put on a hell of a performance in this movie. Um, it's terrifying when you think about it. You, you know, you're spending your day with this lovely family, and they just the worst part it was, or the worst part about it was, he didn't even see them dust. He just it turned around, and they're not there. It's like it's horrifying, you know. And I think it set the tone later for when we see him again in Japan. You, you just tell he's just he's lost. I mean, what do you do at this point? You just it's it's terrible. It's terrible. So, I thought it was a good uh, art for his character. I don't know if we'll see Hawkeye anymore. Might pop up here and there. Who knows? But um, if this is the last we see of him, I thought it was good art for his character. He's got his family back. So, yeah, yeah. good way to start the movie. Brutal way. I wonder if they're going to ever do branches <clears throat> off. Because I mean, you you don't know if the Avengers are done. Are they going to bring in another version of the Avengers? There's right. there's the Dark Avengers. There's the, the West Avengers. Coast Avengers. Yep. There's yeah. I mean. They could go any any way, and who's to say they're even going to do the Avengers? Because um, with Valkyrie there, it, once they introduce, uh, you know, a Silver Surfer into Defenders. the MCU, yeah, they've opened the door to the Defenders because Strange is the one that pulls them through. You got you got Hulk, mm-hmm. Valkyrie, who, yeah. Defenders there. would fuck up the Avengers. Dude. Yeah, they yeah, would. They yeah. Would. yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Wouldn't even be a contest. No, no, not at all, dude. Well, hey, let's talk. Uh, Let's talk Hulk, man, while we're on that subject. Professor Hulk, man, what did y'all think? I loved it. I thought it was a great continuation, a new territory for his character to go because you can only do so much with the whole hulking out and shit before you get into World War Hulk or the other iterations of him. But I thought it was a good change for Bruce Banner. It was it was a pleasant surprise. I, I fucking I think we all knew it was going to happen in this movie, but it was still cool to see, man. I wish he would have done a little bit more in the final battle, but his arm was fucked up. But um, I would have liked to have seen him fight Thanos, but I thought it was cool. I thought the mentality of it was cool, his personality and, and the physique. And I hope they I hope they keep him around. I really do. So I we'll think see. there's a lot to be uh, to develop in with the Hulk uh, because, you know, you still have got the, the general hunting him. Uh, there's the po- possibility of him, you know, becoming the Red Hulk. Yeah. Which, by the way, they were both at the funeral, if you noticed. Yeah. Like, oh, I wonder what yeah. that conversation was There's like. There's also, uh, you know, him hanging out with his cousin and yeah. getting into an accident. And he, she can only be saved by a blood transfusion. And She-Hulk. Yep. I, I would like to see She-Hulk. And I'd like to, I, I don't think Liv Tyler's the best actress, but I would like to see Betty Ross brought back into the fold somehow. 
You know, he's never even fucking alluded to her, you know, and um, it's like the first movie. Technically, it's still the same Bruce Banner that it's still Mark Ruffalo's Bruce Banner. So technically, that's his character history. So he's just never referenced Betty Ross. And it's like I would like to I would like them to tie that movie in more, you know, and maybe they won't now because there was that little love interest he had with Scarlet Witch. I mean, uh, with uh, Black Widow. Mm -hmm. Now that that's gone. Yeah, maybe they can bring in something for that. Yeah, what y'all think about Black Widow? I thought it was great, man. Um, it was a very, very, very touching scene. I, mm -hmm. I, I thought it was great. Yeah, they're apparently they're going to do a prequel movie. Yeah, so she's, she's actually producing it too. Yeah, so her story is not. I don't know how I fully feel about done. a prequel, but I know it's the only thing they can do. So well, it'd be nice to see how N Natasha Romanoff gets made. You know, no, it would. I just, I just know there's no stakes whenever there's a prequel. So, you know, but hey, still could be fun. They were saying Taskmaster might be the villain of that movie, so that'd be very interesting to see. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's word on the street. Played by David Harbor, maybe. I know he has a role in that movie. That's probably going to be it. If he's not, a, he's a really good comic book villain. Taskmaster. Who was... is, is, he's underdeveloped. You know, they just yeah. don't use him that much, but he just is able to pick up anyone's fighting style immediately. Mm -hmm. So when, the... when you, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. no, I'm sorry. Go ahead. When when he would be perfect to fight, like Cap, Spider Man, any of the melee guys, you know, not not oh, not powered up people, he mm -hmm. match he match them instantly. Yeah. What was the guy's name that 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 Cap was fighting with the the with the the, the fists and shit when they were trying to get the uh, that that virus? Oh, crossbones. Ooh. Crossbones, yeah, okay. For some reason, I was thinking he was Taskmaster for some reason. I know he's, he's not even close, but yeah. for some yeah. reason, I was that was a good, that's a good villain too. But they just killed him off real quick. Yeah, exactly. And that nice nod in the in Endgame too, that elevator scene when they go back in the past, you know, the Hell Hydra scene. Yeah, fucking loved that shit. Dude, there were there were so many little <laughs> Easter eggs in there. Yeah, yeah. That, were, that were homages to other things. Yep. Because when when he bends over and he goes Hell Hydra, that was a little homage to the the storyline that's happening now. Mm -hmm. Or that that they just did in the comic books, where Captain was a Hydra agent the other the whole time. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. when uh, then when Thanos blows up the the uh, uh, what is it the uh, Avengers Mansion, Hulk holding it up. That's a throwback to him holding up the mountain from uh, in Secret Wars. That's right. I never thought about that. Yeah, he's holding up the entire building so that Rocket and um, War Machine don't die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking good. Yeah, this thing's just chock full of Easter eggs, man. But yeah. um I loved I loved how they went back to some previous movies. Um they went back to the Battle of New York for the first Avengers. They went back to Thor the Dark World for whatever fucking reason. They went back to uh, I, I did love the scene with him and his mother though. That was that was a touching scene. And um loved my <laughs> loved the uh the open to opening to Guardians where Quill's dancing to come and get your love and so he's an idiot. Yeah, yeah then <laughs> yeah. it knocks him out and takes the power stone. So if you think about it, man, in that reality now, Thanos, Nebula, and Gamora, and all of Thanos' army, they're all gone from that timeline now. So that just leaves Ronan, and Quill never gets the power stone um, unless he wakes up and then gets it. Well, but... I don't think, uh, because they made the jump into our timeline, and then the stones were destroyed, and so was the ship, and so was the uh, the time pads or whatever gamora is still in this timeline yeah she is don't you remember, don't you remember that's the, the that end where he's searching yeah. for her? yep i think that's going to play a lot in the guardians 3 there it's like the it's going to be search for spock search for yeah. Gamora type thing that was, um, that was a great line when uh he goes to like try and be lovey-dovey with her and she smacks him in the balls <laughs> yeah i thought <laughs> i lost you yeah, yeah 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 her, her, sister, her sister comes up and he goes this one really it was it was either him or a tree <laughs> great great moment there great moment there's a lot of great moments in that final battle one of my favorites was uh when peter picks up tony and tony doesn't say a fucking word to him he just gives him a hug which alludes to tony not wanting to touch or hug this kid back in the day but now he's got him back and he embraces him dude it's real touching moment there man um I, I, i've always loved the chemistry between those two so i love that callback to the to the tony not giving him a hug Says, yeah, he's finally got Peter Parker back, so he fucking just embraces him. Props to Robert Downey Jr., man. That was that was a hell of a performance there. You know, and then of course the ending scene, what got me, what made me choke up was when he's leaning against the the thing dying, 
Peter flies in, voice trembling. You know, we did it. We won. We you did it. We we won. You know, it's like that, that's what got me. And then Pepper came in, and that just dug the knife even further. You know, I I, I teared up pretty heavily there. So very touching death scene. Um, matter of fact, I was reading an article the other day. I don't know where it was, but there was a screening of Endgame. And apparently, like, 10 minutes into the movie, some asshole ran into the theater and screamed, Iron Man dies at the end. It's like, bro, could you imagine being in that theater and some asshole does that shit? I'd probably get my money back and go pound on him. Man, that's, that's got to be a fucking buzzkill. But, um, yeah, man, uh, Troy, what were some of the standouts as well in this movie? On top of everything uh, you already talked about. Oof. Man, like, there's so many little Easter eggs that were just, like, great little chuckle moments and tons of moments where I got up and I was like, I was actually cheering. I mean, I went by myself mm-hmm. um, opening night and the guy next to me, he went by himself too. We became friends. Nice. nice. Uh, I mean, I don't have his number or anything. I didn't suck his dick, but <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was good, man. And, uh, oh man, it was just, God damn, dude. I, I really want to go see it again. I'm kind of jealous. You guys have seen it a couple of times. Mm-hmm. Um, Cause I think there's going to be like, like you guys have mentioned, there's so many things that were just, I was just, I was like a little kid, man. I was so like, I was so excited that I couldn't, I mean, maybe, maybe I missed some stuff, you know? And I was just. Yeah. I, I, I think, I, you, I think you'll I enjoy it. it a second time. You're definitely going to pick up on some things. Yeah. And, and maybe I'll appreciate that the whole time aspect a little better. I mean, I, like I said, I loved it. I'm not, I'm not knocking it, but for, for me and generally in the past is I'm not a huge fan of, of time mm-hmm. movies or time storylines for that matter. But uh, yeah, man, I thought it was great. I mean, what do you think it's going to, so. Moving you forward, like, you didn't like Back to the Future. No, I enjoyed it. That was funny. It was a it was a comedy. Um, I love how I'm, they shit on that movie and every time other cop, time cop. Time movie. cop. Yeah. <laughs> so, the whole Gamora thing. So right. moving forward, now that and now that is it is it still is it uh, Guardians of the Galaxy or is it as Guardians of the Galaxy? What's what's going on? Are they gonna? I mean, where's Gamora now? Why would it be now? called as Guardians of the Galaxy? There's no. only one as Guardian there. I think it'll just be Guardians Three. That was just a pl- that was just a play on. Yeah, it's, on it's called name. it's called a joke, like your dick, sir. Oh, it's, it's a oh. joke. Wow. Okay. <laughs> at least at least I didn't have to go see the movie alone. People like me. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Touche. Yeah, Touché. that 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 was that was a pretty deep cut there. I didn't even but, fucking care, dude. I was like, I'm buying my ticket. I don't give a fuck if I go alone. Yeah. I yeah. It. I loved it. No, I want to see it again. I want to see it again. You should, um, man. You should. Oh, and, no, I am. I am. And we need to see it in IMAX because I want to see it in IMAX. Yeah. Yeah. But well, what uh, do you think yeah. is going on with the, with the whole Gamora storyline now? Well, I, I think um, it's funny because she, she's been, a lot of people are saying, well, did she get dusted with Thanos' army? No, because she, tur- she, she turned um, her allegiance chain. You know, she was fighting for the good. And, you know, Tony probably wished away everybody who was on Thanos' side. And she's not. So she's still around, dude. They're not going to. They didn't show what happened to her for a reason. So I think Guardians 3 will mostly be, you know, them looking for Gamora on top of Adam Warlock coming into the to the picture because um he was teased in the last movie. Um but yeah, no, I, I think it'll I think it'll be a search for Gamora type thing and I guess they're just gonna have to catch her up on the past four years or maybe actually, a good maybe a good intro or or advancement on the scroll storyline. Yeah, could be. I could see that happening. But she's got a she had all these memories to to re, re, regain from everybody, and I'm wondering if like Nebula can just open up her uh, her network and show Gamora what they've done the past four years, you know, or Ooh, that, that's nine years. That's that's a good point. Yeah, so I never thought about that. Yeah, I think I think they'll I think they'll be happy and all together again. I just, Are you I, trying it, to tell me in five freaking years? Notice I said freaking, so Zach doesn't have to go back and edit it. Um, so they fucking. couldn't. They couldn't rebuild <laughs> the vision. The the what? They couldn't rebuild vision. Yeah, that's what I was wondering, dude. Because didn't Shuri download a lot of his shit into her uh, yes. files? Yeah. yeah what, was, is that, what is that? Is that like a phone app now or something? And, you know? Yeah, they, I was they, surprised they, they, they didn't see vision was, at all. Yeah, he had five freaking years to rebuild vision. Come on, man. Tony? I think the five year time jump was a little bit excessive. It should have been like one or two years. I don't five years was I get it. You wanted to give Tony a daughter, but five dude, five fucking years, man. Holy yeah, the, shit. The, Troy Troy and I talked about this. It brought a another little freaking hole too, man, is five years, right? 
Have the, Peter's back in high school? Yeah, yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Well, high school's high school's four years. He wasn't a freshman, so a sophomore. I think. Yeah, and all he, his friends as well. He's like mm. are still in high school. Well, the Did, Russos. The Russos were quoted as saying that. They all got snapped. Yeah, they all got snapped too. So they're all back in school. There are classmates that were in homecoming, but they're all in college now. So I guess just the core, like Flash and MJ and Ned and Peter, they're all they were all snapped. I mean, I, and then uh, what's his face? Uh, I can't remember his name, but yeah, they, they're basically all. I guess they just fucking restart high school again. You know, okay, <laughs> it's, it's a new credits. year, so you Any know, transferring credits. <laughs> yeah, the big question though is, was Aunt May snapped? Because she looks uh, she, pretty much the same age as well. She so, was at the end. Dude, could you imagine Aunt May if she wasn't snapped? Losing Uncle Ben, then Peter just mysteriously vanishes, and she just, she's got nothing. That'd be uh, cool, man. That would was, be happy, was Happy snapped? I have no idea. I don't, I don't know. Unless I missed it. I never saw anything. Yeah, I thought, there, there, I th- I thought uh, in one of the trailers for the, the homecoming, they're kind of alluding that there's some kind of Thing yeah. going on between Happy and Aunt May. <laughs> Some little it's extra fucking, curricular it's activities. Fucking, it's fucking Marissa May, dude. <laughs> yeah. But no, I, I will say this. Watching Endgame again the second time yesterday, I, you they, they foreshadow Tony dying so heavily throughout the movie. It's so obvious the second time you see it. Just all the little callbacks, dude. Like the, the stuff about his daughter, the stuff about his family, him meeting his father, him talking to Cap about, you know, hey, if we don't die in the process... You know, Black Widow, too, they put a lot of emphasis on Black Widow as well in the beginning, you know, with her crying and having that speech about family, you know, and then all this other stuff. And, oh, by the way, speaking of Black Widow, that one scene that was a nice little nod to underwater earthquakes under the African continent, was that a Namor reference? I think so. Maybe. Maybe. How fucking cool would that be, man? I'm a huge fan of Namor. You know, I know me and Troy have talked about this a lot, but dude, if that was a tease to Namor, yes. <laughs> the, the the only shitty part about Namor is, I mean, for true fucking Marvel fans and comic book fans, yes, it's going to be amazing. But for the uh, the people that only know like the MCU and you know they're from the movies, they're just going to think that Marvel's trying to trying to rip off Aquaman. Yeah, I can see that. And the part that sucks is that Namor was actually on paper before Aquaman was. Oh, yeah. Dude, yeah. here's a here's he's, crazy thing. He's, like, the, he's Na- the first one. Dude, Namor was fighting uh, alongside Captain America against, uh, you know, against Hitler. Hitler. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I, I, I sent you guys a, a – uh, I was kind of bored the other day, and I sent you guys that uh, ranking of Tony's armor. Yeah, did yeah, yeah. Did y'all yeah, look I at thought- it? I saw oh, it. I'm, I'm familiar with the God Killing Armor, the God Killer, whatever it's called, or the yeah, it's dude, fucking amazing, dude. Besides God Killing Armor, that's just designed to kill Celestials. He has a uh, he has a Galactus Killing Armor. <laughs> I mean, at this point, whatever, you know. Man, a man, man, too bad he won't be be around to uh, use it against Galactus. You know, they... but here's the thing: there, Iron Man's dead. Iron Man's dead. Okay, yeah, but yeah, it's. Someone else can put on the armor. Mm-hmm. I mean, so so apparent. Look how badass Pepper Potts got in five years of her suit. Yeah, she was getting it up there. Uh, well, uh, what's her, her name? Is Res- Rescue, right? Rescue, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, dude, that, when, that was a really badass shot when they were flying in the air together, shooting shit. Yeah, that was cool. That yeah. was a little swan song because you knew Tony was about to bite it. Yeah, I don't think she's coming back either. Might be the last we see her, but, but 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 then again, their daughter's still around. Will they do something with their daughter in the in the new Avengers one day? You know, so I I don't know. Maybe not. You know, and I'll be honest with you, I don't think that's. Granted, I don't think we're going to see Chris Evans a lot, but he, he might pop up every now and then. You know, I guess in the form of uh, not Chris Evans, uh, Robert Downey Jr. Um, like maybe an automated message or an AI voice or something. who knows, dude. Hologram, knows? dude. He, he could he could have planted himself to plant yeah. messages for people. There's easy ways to write him in given his tech. So mm-hmm. yeah, that, uh, you saw that uh, in the Iron Man movies, uh, like all the little little things his dad left for him. Barf. Yeah. You know, and now he's got the technology for it. So now that we're done with, uh, that'd be funny. Now that we're done with uh, 
you know, Stan Lee, rest in peace, cameos, what if we start seeing Tony cameos? That'd be funny. Dude, I'd be down with that. Yeah, That'd be, be awesome. Funny. You know, speaking of which, uh, leaving stuff behind, um, I don't know if you guys caught this in the Spider-Man trailer that dropped today. Uh, in one shot, Peter has the same glasses that Tony was wearing in Infinity War. Yeah. Where he, where he touches the side and he talks to Friday. Peter's wearing those in one shot, and it's like, oh, shit, is he going to start being the, the tech guy? Which is cool, because I would like to see them start exploring Peter's intelligent intelligence, you know, um, having him build stuff and... Uh, I know we know he built his web shooters, but it'd be cool to see him start building other gadgets and trinkets and shit like that. So, well, there was an obvious reason why they incorporated that kid from Iron Man Two. Uh, he was an up and coming little genius kid, mm-hmm. and then Tony left him that whole fucking you know workspace with a fucking sweet ride and everything. So, and, and so obviously, obviously Tony was keeping in touch with him. You yeah, know, they had some that, form of communication. Oh, you're talking about that, Harley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. There was some form of communication to where he would be invited or even told of this special superhero only um, yeah. funeral. Yeah. So I could easily see Harley wear, putting on a, a suit or something. Yeah, they had to have brought him back for a reason, man. It's like you wouldn't just do one little quick cameo for nothing. You know, it's like he, he I think he'll he'll have a part to play. Down yeah. the road, maybe. And there are lots of people around that could still, you know, that could still fix and do the armory. You got the sister from, uh, you know, Chuck Tala's sister, Siri. Mm-hmm. You, know, you got yep. Brainy Hulk. <laughs> he could he could even be like a variation of Iron Lad. Yeah, uh, yeah. Harley could. That'd and then cool. when they and then when they finally uh, bring the Fantastic Four over, <laughs> it's fucking. Mr. Fantastic. Yeah. Wasn't Iron Lad, uh, was it, wasn't he, yeah, his son, right? Not quite sure. I don't know. But I know in the current uh, arc, they, uh, some, uh, black girl from MIT was wearing the armor mm-hmm. for a little bit. Yeah. So, uh, I, I was, I was really surprised that, uh, I think one thing about towards the end of the movie, the resolution part of the movie, that, uh, Thor didn't hand, uh, Valkyrie Mjolnir. Oh yeah, it had to go back. Never mind. Yeah, Sorry. yeah, they took it back. She needs some kind of weapon. Well, she had that one uh, sword that she's got, but I, I, I get true. what you mean, like a stronger weapon or something like that. Maybe, well, maybe she can reform the Valkyrie core. She's and and it, it was, uh, you know, nothing is put in the movies for without a specific reason. Right. When she says, "I'm going to make changes around here." Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're going to see new Asgard be pretty badass. Yeah, she's going to be up to something. And I loved how she flew into battle on a fucking Pegasus. Yeah. You know, just like. But speaking of Asgard, do you realize who's been left off this entire MCU thing? Who's that? Lady Sith. She wasn't around for Ragnarok. Why? Because she was on Earth fighting and helping the uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. on a TV show. The same actress as Lady Sith. No shit. What did, what did happen to Sif? Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. I, I kind of stopped watching Agents of Shield because it's kind of uh, kind of stupid. Well, it got a little much for me, and I I lost interest after. Ghost oh, Rock. hey, I didn't know you were back, Troy. Sorry. But uh, you know, did she survive the snap? If not, it, it, even if she didn't, she got brought back. So she was on Earth. She. I, I wonder if they're leaving her out for a reason. Maybe she's an ace in the hole, or, or they're keeping her in the back pocket to revisit her later. Because she was a good character, man. I, I liked her chemistry with Thor. I don't know why she's disappeared. You know. Well, like I said, she disappeared because she they moved her over to the TV show. That's kind of stupid, though. Well, but they could always bring her back. Yeah. Um, you know, you know, at least I, they didn't waste her off like the other fucking Warriors three in God, Thor Ragnarok. Went, you know, for being the greatest warriors ever, they. I know Hella was badass, but they went out so easy. Yeah, I, I didn't care for that. I, I I loved those guys. You know, I know it had to add to Thor's misery of losing everybody, but I mean, it was just it was a little bit much the way they went out. So yeah, man, I would love to see Sif brought into the mix at some point down the road. Yeah, it, um, it would be perfect, especially now when um, the uh, Valkyrie is going to be rebuilding Asgard. Yeah, but hey, maybe a fourth Thor, she could come back for that. Yeah, who knows? Um, I don't, Troy, are you back? Yeah, yeah, I'm back. Okay. Art said, thanks for not taking the phone with you this time. I'm, I'm considerate. <laughs> uh, you weren't last time. 
So it was a nice change of pace. My bad. But um, yeah, man. Uh, back to Endgame though. I, I want to give a shout out to the to the real MVP of the whole the whole film, basically, a uh, a rat, a garden rat, um, the savior of the universe. So did the rat? Did the thing just turn on, or did he was, the rat walking across it cause it to turn on? He caused it to turn on. He was hitting the buttons and the 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 lever, or I think it was a touchpad. But yeah, it it was the rat. I guess that explains the five year gap is because something would have touched it eventually, you know. But I I kind of liked the idea better of Scott falling through a time vortex and coming out into it, coming out uh, another point in time at the same spot and then taking the van. But I guess if they would have done that based on their time travel, it would have caused him to come in at in in uh, in an alternate reality. So. I guess that was the only option they could do was have a rat just crawl over the fucking control panel. Right. But oh, here, here's another one. I forgot we were talking about, you know, brains to replace Tony Stark. Got we got Hank Pym and his wife. Yeah. Yeah, they're they back. were back. They were back. And his daughter's growing up. Cassie, she's like 15 now. That was a very, very, very nice scene. Uh, them two embracing again. Um, she's clearly going to have something to do with the new Avengers down the road. I don't think we've seen the last of her. Hey, so what did y'all think about the uh, the you go girls moment in the battle? Um, you know, was that gratuitously put in there? I think the, it was. I what? think it was. The what art? What was that? The what? The the you go girl moment when all the chicks lined up. I oh, have said eh. chicks, right? Was that PC? I, it, it was PC. I, I, it sounds like it was. It, it felt to me like it was very thrown in to show it was, people up. It was. There's a there's a line between making it realistic and then just straight pandering to the audience um i think it fell a little bit towards the pandering side i think it could have been like wait you're telling me this entire battle they all like stop what they're doing and because captain marvel just came down to the ground you know and it's like okay they all just drop what they're doing and just rush over there to it's like i was a little much I thought it was a little much yeah. and in the uh when they all when they all charged um oh god i'm horrible with names but uh the uh, the captain of the guard of uh Wakanda, uh, the one that took a, yeah, the girl that played Michonne. Yeah, uh, they're Okoye. showing them bat. They're showing them battle, and she spears uh, while the action's moving and kills that uh, one of uh, Thanos's hench people. The one that was giving her and uh, Scarlet and uh, Black Widow a huge problem until Scarlet Witch showed up in Infinity War. Like, why? Why now? All of a sudden, you could take her out with a spear. But before you needed Scarlet Witch, mm-hmm. it, it yeah. was too much of a too much it was. of that, that, that it, happening it, for me. Yeah, it was it was it was too pandering. I liked it in Infinity War better when the the three girls came together and they they beat what's her face Proxima Midnight. That yeah. was a little bit better. That wasn't so in your face. This one was a little bit overkill. But you know, hey, hey, but I got to tell you, in in doing some of my research before this podcast, <laughs> if I'm the last one that realized this, then I apologize. Did y'all fucking realize that Scarlet Witch is the sister of the Olsen twins? <laughs> yeah, dude. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, I don't follow actresses. I don't. I'm not an actor. I don't follow actresses. I, I've known that I, since I, forever. <laughs> I, I've ne- it's never been thrown in. I've never. I trust me. I follow the shit on, online. Dude, I don't. She looks that just stuff. like him, man. She does. She does. It just didn't dawn on me. I, I've. I've never really been into her character. You know? Yeah, she's she's their little sister. I don't think she's the youngest. She's their little sister, though. It's yeah. okay. It's okay. I still love you, bro. Yeah. Well, love me or not. Maybe I'd you should do the, some I'd character the research. You, Which is why I told you I did. Yeah. Good. Yeah. You never know what you're gonna uncover. No, you don't. I mean, <laughs> just like um, I don't know if you knew this, but Robert Downey Jr. is Robert Downey Sr.'s kid. No, that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> this is Morton Downey Jr.'s. <laughs> Morton Downey Jr. Oh man. Oh shit. But uh yeah, no, going back to the, the girl power thing, I, I get why they did it, but I think it was just a little bit overkill. Um could have been kills, toned down. What kills me is 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 you what, after the movies come out, watching the internet just going crazy. And I get it. They they were getting all this flack for not having enough women. To to say that Marvel doesn't have enough women. And it is ridiculous. I don't think that little scene had to happen. 
because some of the most powerful characters are women. You yeah. know, but people uh, fail to realize that Captain Marvel is the power, the most powerful Avenger, and Scarlet Witch is beyond powerful. So it's like, yeah, I mean, let's go to the Thor movie. You got Hela, you got Valkyrie. I mean, in every movie, there's some awesome female badass, right? And yep. it, it's got it's gotten as bad as some people just trying to to start anything they possibly can up. Yeah, saying that yeah. that the movie is fat shaming because of Thor. I'll do you one better. There's people I saw, uh, there was an article, there's there's women out there that are furious that, oh, why does Black Widow have to die? Why can't any of the other guys die? It's got to be the lone girl. It's like, hey, idiot, did you not see the end of the fucking movie where Tony sacrifices himself? <laughs> yeah, I mean, right. Dude, they're so busy focusing on the negatives that they just fail to realize what the story is doing. You know, I, in, in this case, in cases like that, I wish... You know, uh, that more of those people that comment that way mm -hmm. would watch more films from other countries, like, like Japanese films, um, because in the United States, the hero always has to win. You know what I mean? Yeah. That we just, our, our guy has to survive. It, it, that's just the way it is. But in, in like a Japanese and an Asian culture, if the hero dies a noble death, it was worth it. You know, and, and she had a redemption moment. You know, yeah, she's, she's, she had a lot of red in her ledger. You know, yeah. I didn't see her. I didn't see that coming. I didn't. I didn't think she was going to get killed. But the way they did it, I thought it was very well done. Um, you didn't see it coming when they 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 assigned them to go to the Soul Stone. No, no, no. I meant like leading up to Endgame. Like I didn't think she was oh, going to okay. die. Um, but as soon as her and Hawkeye were, they they someone said they're going to Vormir. I was like, oh shit. Does that mean someone's gonna? One of them are gonna die. Got to soul for a soul, baby. I thought it was going to be Hawkeye for honestly, but um, yeah. Then it made me realize, like, well, he's no, he's going to get his family back. He's got to stick, he's got to be around. But then I thought, okay, well, he's going to sacrifice himself to ensure that his family comes back. So there was a moment there where I didn't know who the fuck was going over the cliff. Um, yeah, I, I think it, I, I knew Hawkeye wouldn't because they had that, that huge moment where he, he hugs his family again. Yeah. Oh, yeah but, man, can you imagine how much money Marvel is saving now, now that they're not having to pay, uh, Oh, Robert yeah. Downey Jr. and ScarJo. I can imagine. And Chris Evans. Man, I don't think Chris Evans is done. Even even his old cap in the comic books, because that does happen. Uh, there's a storyline yeah, like where... like a mentor role or something, right? Exactly. There's a storyline where the, it, the Red Skull goes in the past and or somehow negates the Super Soldier Serum in him, so it becomes mm -hmm. really old. Right, 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 right. And, yeah. uh, but he becomes the the guy behind the computer calling out the shots for the Avengers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'd be into that. Yeah. I'd be into that. But, um, well, hey, we're coming up on 50 minutes. Um, I think Oof. we should wrap this up. There's, there's so much we still have yet to talk about. We, we, we can always do this again, you know, make another part. This could be part one or whatever. But, um, yeah, hey, real quick. Quick, quick, quick throw in. Spider-Man trailer. Wow. Oh, yeah. No, I did a reaction to it on our YouTube channel earlier. Blown away. Blown away. So, I love is love he, what they're he, doing with it. Is he pretending to be like the good guy at first, and that's what's going yeah, on? Yeah, I th I think so. I think so. Because I mean, Mysterio is known for that. He cre you know I think it's he's creating these monsters that we see in the trailer to pass off as a hero. Yeah, you know, that's what, and was, that's what I thought. He, he turns out to be the villain, but I think Marvel knows that a lot of comic book nerds like myself are expecting that, so they might throw a swerve in there too somewhere. So who knows? But yeah, something's up with Mysterio for sure. But I just love that they're finally doing Mysterio. I've always loved Mysterio. And he yeah, looks so on, fucking good, dude. I have people online that are thinking that uh, he was going to be another Mandarin. I'm like, no, I think I think uh, Marvel learned well enough that yeah, they're not going to fuck I, up like they did the Mandarin. I don't even know why you put that thought into my head. I'm still trying to forget about that Mandarin twist. <laughs> but there was a one shot that a lot of people didn't see where Ben Kingsley was in jail. Yeah, 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 yeah. You saw that? Yeah, you yeah. said, yeah, the real Mandarin's still out there, apparently, so. Yeah, dude, there's, uh, those one shots, they weren't pushed that much, but did you see the one where Colson stopped to get gas? Yeah, dude. The, the They're gas fucking gas. awesome. Yeah, that was badass. Yeah, they stopped doing those a few years ago. I don't know why. I loved them. They were great. Well, I guess early on, they, were, they, they wanted to keep a buzz going between movies, but mm -hmm. I, think, I think Marvel's grown beyond that now. Yeah, they speak for itself. I mean, they're $500 million away from passing Avatar, so 
I think, yeah, I think they speak for themselves now. Like, yeah, you realize that Zoe Saldana is going to be in three of the highest grossing films ever. Well, she's not in Titanic, but two of them at least. She's in both. She's in bo- uh, three of the five. She's in both Infinity oh, yeah. War and Endgame and in Avatar. And yet, I bet she didn't earn that much from it. Probably. Yeah, she probably signed on to a, a quick deal. And she's not that great of an actress. Did you ever see uh, uh, what, that solo one she did, Colombiana? It's horrible. No, I never saw that. I thought she was pretty good in Crash. Yeah. That wasn't that she was, was that Candy was... Newton. Never mind. Jesus Christ. She, she was a good. She was a good Ahura. Yeah, she was. She was decent. I hated the Spock Ahura thing, but she was she was decent. Um, but hey, before we get out of here, man, I wanted to talk on uh, on the last scene of the movie. I wanted to get y'all's thoughts on Cap giving the shield to Sam instead of Bucky, because I know a lot of people are going back and forth about that. I have no problems with it. Because God, I hope that doesn't turn into a racist thing. I, I, I don't. I don't think. It well, will. there are going to be people. You know, come on, man. It's not. It's, no, it's I know. I know. I know. There are going to be people that are going to hate that he gave it to him, but he was the logical choice. Even no, though at some point both of them have had the shield, but this current Winter Soldier, he, he probably would have turned it down. He probably yeah. wouldn't have done it because he does. He still doesn't trust himself with the Hydra stuff in his head. Well, you know what's funny about Bucky is when Cap was when Cap went over to go hug him. He, look at Bucky's Troy. When you go back and rewatch this movie, look at Bucky during that exchange. He says, "I'm gonna miss you." Like, oh, Bucky, Bucky knew, knew. He, he knew he wasn't coming back. Yeah, you know, and I, I love may- that. Loved Maybe that. Bucky had met him earlier in that timeline or something. As soon as he zoned, as soon as he, I don't know, just something weird. Yeah, but you're correct. Well, you're right. Here's my thought on that. At first, I was, I was kind of like, I don't think that Cap made it the tactical best choice because in giving Falcon the shield, I mean, Falcon in his current state is more powerful than a Falcon who's trying to be a Captain America, but. And Bucky could actually handle the shield and act more appropriately, I think, tactically. But now I understand, you know, you guys are saying, oh, well, he's still, you know, he's been brainwashed. The potential still Dude, there for a Hydra. Lot, there's a lot all that of that stuff. Juju. But, oh, I know. Oh, I know that. But it just like, mm-hmm. hmm. I mean, I wonder if, if Falcon, do you think Falcon is going to be? Yeah, now, he'll do just now, fine. So you think he's going to be actually not weakened because he has now he's carrying a shield around? I mean, yeah, he's got a so. no, flight and all that stuff. Mm. Yeah, he'll be just fine. They'll find a way to do it. Sure, I, I mean, got you. Other other Avengers probably would have had a huge issue with the Winter Soldier being there. I mean, are we forgetting that he murdered Tony's parents? Yeah, he's well, done a, yeah. he's done a lot of bad shit, <laughs> a lot. You know, they're lucky that they're lucky that he's that they're even letting him fight with them because he's a villain that a, a bad villain that turned. Mm-hmm. So and there's and you know they, they, there was conditioning that they did in Wakanda. To help him, you know, the what was it, the white, what do they call him, the white wolf, the white wolf, yeah, yeah. Wolf. But who, but who's to say that he's, he's, yeah, he's not, he's, he's not the guy to lead. <laughs> hey, our new Captain America is the guy that killed Tony Stark's parents. Got to be. Yeah, no, no I, I think it, I think it was a good gesture. You know, I wonder how good the spinoffs are going to be, man. Like the, I, I'm actually really excited for him. Oh, honestly. oh man, I'm, I'm concerned. I hope really. I hope, I hope well. I mean. Dude, Marvel hasn't let you down. They've got it. They've got the machine. Down. Yeah, I'm very excited for him. Well, I mean, and then, since Loki got away with the Tesseract, he's running around in that alternate timeline. No, 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 so, no. What, what, what I'm saying is, I'm hoping it's not like like she like the Shield TV program or something like that. I'm hoping no. that it's, oh, this is no. actual. That's Disney, my concern. Big money. They've got the same actors playing them. They got Vision and Scarlet Witch coming out. They got a Hawkeye movie coming out. They've got um, Disney uh, doesn't Cap- do the Shield thing. Huh? That's that's TV. No, that's, that's ABC. That's, yeah. Oh, okay. Why do no, you think? I, I, think he, I think. Yeah, I think this is humans like straight, were so bad. Yeah, I think this oh, is like straight Marvel awful. Studios. Yeah, they're going to do it just fine because they know if they fuck it up on TV, it's going to fuck up the big money budget. The yeah, I don't budget. think it's going to have that same. I don't think it's going to have the sit the the TV show look. I think it's going to look cinematic like the movies. I don't think I it's going to. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah, I got high hopes for the for the TV shows. Um. But um, I'm telling you, uh, that's another seven dollar bill <laughs> to pick up a month. Troy, I think, so. I think yeah, it's I'll, worth it though. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll get that one, dude. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's worth it, man. Pixar, Star Wars, Marvel, all the original content. I mean, and all Not, the TV and you know what? stuff. Besides the nerd stuff, they bought all the rights to everything. <laughs> I mean, they're going to load up thirty years of The Simpsons on there. And yeah, they got I, Family Guy too, I think. 
Yeah, every every fucking thing, and no commercials. It's fucking ridiculous, man. In a good way. It'll be fun. It'll be cool. Oh, uh, will. It will. A lot of a lot of good original Star Wars content too. The Mandalorian. That TV show looks good. They're yeah. coming out with another one. Uh, yeah, I'm excited, man. I, I'm 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 very excited for the the Falcon Winter Soldier two and the Loki one because, like I said a while ago, Loki's running around now. He gets away with the Tesseract, and uh, it that branches off into a new reality where he's alive. So that's probably what his TV show is going to be about. So really, and, looking forward to and that. they uh. Uh, they green lighted and, and Disney asked for uh, uh, the, a Ghost Rider series. Oh, yeah, I saw that too. Yeah, I'm very, dude, I'm very excited for the Ghost Rider. I just do, do it, it right. right, do it right, yes, do it right, man. Exactly. All right, man. Well, hey, let's get out of here. I mean, we can always do this again. We, we, we didn't even touch upon a few things, but you know, we'll do it down the road. Cool. So much shit to talk about with this movie, but hey, appreciate you guys coming on. It's been a lot of fun. We'll do it again. So For Troy, for Art, I'm Zach. We're all fucking nerds here. We'll catch y'all later. Excelsior. Don't speak for me, bitch. This is Troy. I'm out. My name is... uh, Yeah, okay. (laughs) Sign yourself off. Go ahead. I'm giving you the floor. No, I'm done. I'll be whoever (laughs) you want me to be, daddy. Oh, my God. All right, we're getting out of here. We'll see y'all later. (laughs) Peace. Be sure to follow the podcast on Twitter and Instagram at The Indie Rundown and like our Facebook page, The Indie Rundown Podcast. 